So it's 5.23 in the morning, and I uh, just woke up to start refreshing month-end Power BI reports. Now, unfortunately, my camera has died, but that was actually a joke. I was up really early to go for a run, and it's been a really long time since I've had to get up early to refresh a report. Typically, I just use the Microsoft Power BI APIs to refresh a semantic model with whatever the orchestration tool is that I'm using. That said, the Microsoft Power BI and Fabric Teams just released a really cool new feature, and that is advanced semantic model refresh templates that you can use to create data pipelines. And that's what we're gonna be taking a look at today in today's video. So let's buckle up and let's jump into the computer. So we all know that you can set a refresh schedule. So a Power BI report will refresh on its own by clicking into the semantic model and then clicking refresh and then schedule refresh, or by going over here, scrolling down and then clicking the three dots and going down to settings and then clicking refresh. Uh, but there is a problem. So that problem is that when you go to set a refresh frequency, there is only weekly and daily options. But there's also another problem. Let's just say you want to refresh a Power BI report multiple times a day. If you're on premium capacity, you can only schedule the report to refresh 48 times. And every single time you have to individually select a time. Or if you're on Power BI Pro, you can only have the report refresh eight times. So neither of those are great. But luckily for us, Microsoft Fabric just released a really fun new feature, and that's refresh templates for Microsoft Power BI data sets that when you go to into the workspace and then you click on a semantic model, allow you to create advanced refreshes. And they guide you through creating that advanced refresh via a Fabric data pipeline step by step. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create an advanced refresh for this semantic model. So when I click that button, what it's gonna go ahead and do is it's going to go ahead and it's gonna create a Fabric Data Pipeline for me, and then it's gonna give me a few different options. The first option is I can trigger a refresh based on a Microsoft Fabric event. So that would be using uh, like data-driven alerts. So like if a data value changed, you could automatically refresh a data set. I could refresh a data set after a data flow runs automatically, which is really cool. I could uh, create a schedule to refresh a Power BI report on either a monthly or a quarterly or even a minute basis. And then I can also sequence multiple semantic models together. Now, it's important to note that these aren't all of the really cool scenarios that Microsoft uh, Fabric Data Pipelines allow you to create refreshes in, but they are the ones that when you select, Microsoft will guide you through exactly how to do it. So you can click this start tour button and it'll give the activity. Then it'll provide us direction to go ahead and to configure the semantic model. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm clicking that more button. I'm choosing a Power BI semantic model, connection, Power BI data sets. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with my credentials, right? And I'll go ahead and hit connect. And then once this is here, I'll go and select my workspace of dev, and then I'll select my semantic model of test, right? And I can even choose which table. So I can either refresh all the tables or just one or two of the tables, which is really cool, especially if you're doing things like incremental refresh. They also have some really neat advanced features that they have turned on, right? So for example, the commit mode, uh, uh, parallelism, how many times you want to refresh it if it fails. Those are the kinds of things that you don't necessarily get to control with the other uh, UI in the settings. And then you'll hit next, and then you can schedule the pipeline, right? And because this is a data pipeline, I have just a lot more control here over when I want this to refresh. So I have that monthly option. So I can say, hey, I want this to happen every two months on this specific day. And I can go ahead and schedule this. So this is how I can refresh a report on a monthly or a quarterly basis with Microsoft Fabric in a way that we couldn't do when we just had Microsoft Power BI. So I would encourage you to check out this new feature. It is really cool. And maybe check out some of the other templates that I didn't demo in this video. 
If you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing. Please give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching.